When getting shit tested or even straight up rejected, how do you handle it internally and maintain a high value, strong frame? Here's the thing. If a girl shit tests me, I'm still the same person I was before she shit tested me. And actually, to be fair, shit test, I take it as a compliment because it is. It means she's interested in me. If a girl rejects me, I'm still the same person I was before she rejected me. It has, nothing's fundamentally changed. Absolutely not, right? I've still done, I still have the same education. I'm still equally as fit. I'm still just as smart. I have all the same skills. So why would I let that affect me? Why would I let her rejection affect me in any way, shape, or form? Also, by the way, if she rejects me, I've still slept with all the same other girls I've slept with. I've still gotten all the same positive reactions from every other girl I've slept with. I've still watched just as many pickup videos as I have. Nothing has fundamentally changed, right? You walk up to a girl and get rejected versus walking up and not doing anything, not having walked up to her, right? Not walking up and not walking up to her, that's stupid. But anyway, versus not having walked up to her in the first place, is your life fundamentally different in any way? Absolutely not. And to treat it as though you are in a different spot based on her rejection is giving her so much power over your life, right? How are you gonna let someone have that kind of power over your life? I'll tell you this, your success in life on the, the long, you know, long time horizon is gonna come down to what you put into it. What you get out of it, here or there, one random consequence, one girl likes you, one girl doesn't like you, is not gonna fundamentally change whether they're successful with girls in life. Even if you were to get a particular girl, that doesn't fundamentally change whether you're successful with girls in life because if you had the skill set and the game to get that one girl, you had the skill set and game to get another girl of equivalent value. So one girl fundamentally cannot change your success with women in life in any significant way, okay? So don't give her that kind of power. You are the person who has power in your life and you need to see, that, see it that way. You need to see that you are the prime mover in your life. You are the person who is gonna make things happen. And if you do, there have been studies done People who are successful attribute their success internally. They attribute it to themselves. People who are unsuccessful attribute it to external factors, luck, circumstance, those kind of things. So be the person that puts your, um, your success on you, that takes that as, um, as, as the way the world works. Um, one other thing that helped me with this, this is already a mentality I've had for, for years and years and years, but one thing that really did help me with this was playing the game of poker. I was a professional poker player for four years, um, and the beautiful thing about the game of poker is that there's random chance, right? And some people would say that's the awful thing about the game of poker, right? Because you can play a hand perfectly and lose, and it sucks when that happens. You can play a game really badly and, and win, and it's great when that happens for you, but it's bad when it happens to you. So a lot of people complain about that in poker. A lot of people um, have a big problem with it. But what you have to realize playing poker is that if you do the right things on a long enough timeline, you're going to make a lot of money. If you do the wrong things, you're going to lose a lot of money. And actually that randomness, you should be grateful for it as well. Because in poker, if you always won when you play well and you always lose when you play badly, nobody would want to play with you. Right? As a good player, you'd never make any money. It's the same kind of thing in game. Right? If game were simple, if game were easy, if it was very easy, you do this and you get the girl and everybody can repeat it and do it, well then there would be no value to that skill and everybody could get the girl. So every time game is hard, every time you get rejected, you should actually be really grateful. You should actually be really happy because that rejection is something that would discourage a weaker man. That, the fact that, that it was a little hard and you had to work for it is something that allows you to step up and set yourself apart. If you learn the lesson to solve the problem that got you rejected, that's another area, another place where you can set yourself apart from every other single guy. So every single time game is tough, not only do I not let it phase me, not only am I not like, oh God, I, I suck at life because, no, I'm actually happy. I'm glad game is difficult. If game wasn't difficult, there wouldn't be an opportunity for me to be so good at it relative to everybody else, and wouldn't be opportunity for me to have had the insane, crazy sex life and success that I've had relative to the average guy. So not only should you not take that rejection to heart, every time you get rejected, take that as like a reason why it's even more important to learn game, a reason why it's important to set up, step up, and a reason why all your efforts in game are all the more worth it, because you can set yourself apart from one more circumstance, all right? So fundamentally though, end of the day, you are the person that controls your success. Do not allow anybody outside of yourself to have that kind of power over you.